everybody. My name is Lisa Richter with Las Vegas Networking Events and also United Mortgage. Today we have Janice Vaughn with Janice Vaughn Solar Consulting, an independent power solar consultant and Nevada Regional Sales Manager with Power. Welcome today uh, to the show. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So before we get into solar, which is a hot topic here in Nevada, let's talk a little bit about who you are and, you know, when did you move to Vegas and tell us a fun fact about yourself. Okay, perfect. Um, well, I'm actually back in Vegas for the second time. I lived here years and years and years ago, um, around the year 2000, um, had my kids here and then went away for a while. I'm back um, over the last couple of years, officially a year ago here in Nevada and just kind of starting over, came back to a place that I love and um, plan to build you know, my future here. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm back here in Nevada. Fun fact about you. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, I play the piano. So I I don't even think that you know that. No. Do you? Yeah. So I have a dream of of some somehow, some way performing somewhere here in Vegas in the next year or two. So gotta go check out those uh those dueling piano places where mm. you get to Yeah, I don't know that I'm that good, but something like that. <laughs> You'll see me like at the piano at Red Rock or something like that, dabbling okay. away. I'm like, I know her. <laughs> Very cool. Well, that was fun to learn that you play the piano. I've known you for a while now, and that was not a fact mm -hmm. that you've ever shared with me in the past. So I'm curious to, to learn huh. some more. Um, but today we're here to learn uh, about solar and, and what you do there. So tell us a little bit about what you do and what your current role is in Nevada. Sure. Yeah. So I am a solar consultant actually um, across the country. I do it through Power, which is a nationwide provider. They're actually the fastest growing nationwide solar company in the U.S. And um, as an independent consultant, I sell solar and consult with homeowners on solar in multiple states. Here in Nevada, I'm a regional sales manager, um, and I'm able to help people here in this state as well. Um, I've been in the solar space since about 2017, um, started in roofing. Um, did a lot of roofing inspections, kind of an expert in that space, um, residential and commercial in Southern California. So um, that merged into solar and then, you know, was doing in-home con consultations for many years. And then gradually with the start of COVID kind of went virtual, which of course changed everything. And the beauty of power is everything is online. So um, homeowners honestly love it. It used to there was a learning curve at first when everything went to Zoom, um, but now people kind of expect it. It's not, it's not unheard of just to do a full consultation on Zoom, help a homeowner from beginning to end, um, have everything done and installed, and it's all virtual. Nice. So let's talk about why homeowners in Las Vegas should at least look at solar as an option. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's um. I've told you this, you know, we've had these conversations. Sometimes it makes a lot of sense. Sometimes it makes no sense at all. Um, some solar people will argue with me about that. But at the end of the day, a lot of it, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people go solar. Independence, um, predictability, they want to lock in their costs. It's generally is a financial question, right? Does this make sense now and long term? So the only way to know the answer to that question is, uh, to, to see, to have a consultation, to do an analysis. What are you using now? Um, are you getting electric vehicles? That's the thing that is, you know, happening for the future. So um, the only way to really know is to look into it, have a, a real analysis. At the end of the day, it's a math and a financial play um, to the to the most extent. Um, there are other reasons why people go solar, um, battery backup, things like that, more security. But here in Nevada, it tends to be just more of a financially smart decision when it does make sense. If a home has a ton of shade or is in a configuration that maybe it doesn't make sense, it could be an if. But generally speaking, utility rates go up and up and up and up. Um, even if it seems like the rates are going down, there are other ways the rates are going up in fixed fees or things like that. Hard fees you can't get around. So it's a good idea just to know what your options are in solar because, you know, 
I mean, I can't personally think of a situation where my bills have gone down in the last 20 years, you know, so maybe, maybe you're different. No, <laughs> I wish I could say, yes, I wish. No. <laughs> yeah. Especially I wish. Before. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about what makes you different from other solar consultants. Sure. So, uh, I am, well, back in the day, just going back a little bit. So my personality tends to be more of an educator. And I was, when my kids were really small in another state, I was a teacher. I don't know if you know that about me either. Yeah, you do too. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah. So I have a, a teacher personality, which I mean, it's in, it's in my blood just to educate and share, um, and facilitate. So when I'm consulting with homeowners, I take the same approach on solar, right? Let me show you what I see. I'm not going to tell you and pers like convince you and persuade you, but I want you to see what I see so you can tell me if, if this makes sense for you. Um, and so I do think that's a little bit unique in this space of solar, I guess, or any sales, right? Mm -hmm. Giving more information, but we live in a day and age where there's so much information online and a homeowner should know whatever they're doing in their home. They should know what the options are, mm -hmm. materials, the pricing. And at the end of the day, there's some level of trust, but I think that by educating versus um, selling, yeah, you know, that is something that makes me a little bit unique. Yeah, you're giving them the, the power to understand and make the decision for themselves. You're not doing it for them. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. So now let's talk about, you said that you were in roofing and you did that for a long time. And then you started solar, you said 2017. Um, what made you get into solar? Oh, well, I was actually uh, transitioning from being a teacher uh, in the state of Idaho and had moved to California. And so the way the teach in the teaching in the teaching world, uh, my credentials didn't transfer easily, um, and I was just looking for something different. Uh, I had done some other sales jobs, and a friend of mine actually introduced me to a roofing company um, in San Diego, and you know that just seemed to be my personality. I definitely enjoyed at the time, a kind of a people person meeting all these characters, shall we say, in homes, like, who are you? How can I help? Um, and th to some extent, I mean, it was, yeah, it just gave me some, some freedom, some education in the industry. I like to learn. I like to know things. I'm a little bit of a hands-on mechanical kind of person. So the, so going into roofing was a really um, awesome thing. And then that of course went into solar because they are connected. So a lot of times if someone is looking at a roof, um, redoing their roof, they will add solar and there are financial reasons for that. So just went hand in hand. Okay. So what are some things every homeowner should consider um, when going solar? Um, <clears throat> well, they should really understand exactly what it is, right? I always tell my people, or not my people, um, when I'm consulting with a homeowner, again, I want you to know why this is important. So there should be no no question at the end of it, right? Is this right for you? Um, considering your long-term financial goals, your short-term financial goals, uh, other things that you are planning to do in the home. Are you the type of person who's getting an electric vehicle sooner than later? Um, are you having other people in the house? So Again, how we run our life, we can't, I mean, imagine not having electricity, right? Even my phone not charging, right? Like I'm paralyzed. So we need to power our lives. And so it's such a big play and a big part of our lives. I think it's just important to know how that all works, how it's integrated, how it looks in terms of the whole view of your home, what you're using, um, what you're generating. So honestly, you know, it is quite simple. I always tell, and it's true. Solar is simple. It's very, no moving parts, quite, quite simple in and of itself, but just understanding the, the real dynamics and the, the financials of a solar purchase, I think is really important. So now with Las Vegas being very heavily HOA'd, which this is a question we didn't talk about, 
do you have to get it approved uh, by the HOA? And do you help with that? I don't know if being- sure, the yeah. Yeah, if there is an HOA, yes, I certainly help with that. Some people, well, actually, it depends on what the homeowner wants. So HOAs are different. They have different, um, like sometimes email approval, walk-in approval. So it's a case by case, but absolutely, of course. Um, of course, homeowners in Nevada have the right to go solar. The HOAs know that. So it's just a matter of paperwork. It's not going to not be approved. It's they just, just have going to know that, that you're process. getting it. Yeah. Mm hmm all right. And now you said you're nationwide. What states do you serve? Do you serve them all? Or there's some that you don't serve? Oh, yeah. There's some that I don't. Um, there's 23 states that power serves across the country currently. Um, there's, that's a lot. I'm, I won't go through them. Um, California, of course, is a, is a state that I serve on the East Coast, New Jersey, Florida, um, the Carolinas. I mean, there's so many to, to say. Um, generally speaking, if it makes sense to go solar in a state, it's because the, of the utility prices in that state, right? It's a lot of times people think it's just the sun. It's not just the sun and the sun hours. It's what is the cost of electricity? So there are a lot of states that may surprise people that are big for solar. Um, and it's just because it's such a better, less costly way to power a person's home. Um, Hawaii is a great example of that. Uh, yeah, just across the country. So in in depending on the state, um, again, everything that I do is virtual. So if, if someone's listening here in Las Vegas and they have a family member in Texas or wherever, um, I can certainly help them. It's all virtual. Um, I would do the same consultative process that I would do with a person if you were next door to me. Um, and I'm assuming they just go to your website and they can see either what yep. states that you're in or reach yep. out to you for a call. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So like, um, okay. So let's talk about uh, how do you help and partner with other businesses here and in other states and help them tap into the growth uh, what's happening nationwide with solar? Sure. Um, so one thing that I really love to do, and this is the teacher in me too, is that uh, that I do develop and have some great referral relationship and partnerships with other businesses. So this is particularly relevant to contractors, um, realtors, roofers, HVAC, turf, uh, pest control. There's so many um, home facing or homeowner facing contractors and businesses where solar or understanding at least how it works can add value to, to them and their business. One, it makes education is good, right? On any product. So if you're in a home and you're helping on one thing, it's a good idea to have kind of a general understanding of the rest. I can't talk about solar without really understanding, you know, HVAC a little bit and how that's playing and the efficiency. So when a person understands or a business owner or salesperson understands solar, it gives them some level of level of credibility. You become a holistic you have a holistic view of the whole home where you can help and at least give some sort of advice or refer in the right direction. When I partner with uh, businesses, I'll use roofing as an example, just because it's very straightforward. Um, roofers are in homes. They're consulting with homeowners on their roof. Um, it's a very natural uh, thing to then, you know, be able to talk about solar. Can I help you with solar? Um, questions come up. So it's kind of a question of, do you want to be the contractor or the business owner who can provide a resource or can provide advice and direct in the right way when a homeowner asks questions about solar, or do you just brush them off? So I do have, and I'm always looking for businesses who do want to refer in that way. And so that you have, or they would have a Educate, educated, qualified person to refer to, and then of course benefit financially as well. If anyone is interested in that, of course you can contact me through my website or directly after this, but um, it's definitely something that um, all realtors, just people across the country, we are continuing, continually as a society in the US electrifying for lack of a better word, but things are going electric. So 
it will continue to happen. And I think it's a good idea to be in the forefront of that trend and to be able to say, you know what, let me help you. I can help you. I have answers or I can send you to someone who has answers rather than, I don't know, sorry. And then of course you miss out on that revenue too, as well, um, to be able to help provide incredible value, you know, and create a revenue stream from solar at the same time. Okay. Now, uh, you also network, uh, you go out, is, is that how you tend to find some of your referral partners through networking or do they tend to reach out to you when they see you on social media where, how do you find your, your partners? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of both. Um, because I'm nationwide, a lot of people do connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, you know, it's a global, global world now. So, uh, LinkedIn, social media, uh, I do go out. I do love face to face, even though I do work virtually, um, word of mouth, things like that. Um, but yeah, my website, of course, um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, a little bit of YouTube, building that up. Uh, but yeah, and you can also do an old fashioned phone call. <laughs> Who does that anymore? Nobody calls. I may or may not answer. No, <laughs> I do. I'm actually a phone kind of person. Like get me on the phone. I like that. Yeah. So let's now we're going to go into the, how to contact you. Obviously you're on all different platforms. You got your, sure. your brick phone, you got your texting. <laughs> what... I wish I had a banana. <laughs> What would be the the best way that you would want people to contact you? Uh, phone, text or phone or email. I mean, Janice at jvsolarconsulting.com is my email. It's a long, it's a long one. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah, we can share that um, or a phone as well. So, uh, and then of course, Facebook is fine messaging. I mean, everyone does. I mean, Facebook and Instagram is easy. So whatever is easiest, but I am available to help. Perfect. And what's your um, and, I, and honestly answer any questions for businesses too. Um, I haven't yet started it here. I, you know, was planning to do this and I will, as I get settled in California, I would do trainings with realtors and offices, you know, what questions do you have as a business about solar? Um, and honestly, you know, if, I do come across very skeptical people um, because it, to some extent, feels new. There's misinformation. People have been burned or they feel they've been burned or the story is that, you know, there's a lot of things. So I'm happy to provide education and just clarification on anything related to solar. Love it. And then what's your website for everybody to know as well? Um, it's jvsolarconsulting.com. I appreciate having you on today. Is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Uh, do you play any instruments? I Should do not. we start a band? <laughs> I have not been uh, very instrumentally uh, capable, but I did do choir for all my middle and high school oh. years, but you will not, uh, you, you're not going to get me to sing. So. Okay. <laughs> well, that sounds like challenge. a challenge. <laughs> Now I have to now I have to get ready because I know you're gonna ask me to play. Mm -hmm. We'll have to like do a trade, which I don't want to do. So I'll probably never hear you play because um, surprisingly for being in choir for eight years, I am very, very, very shy. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Yeah. Um. I guess the only thing I would add is if you, I do think with the rate increases here in Nevada, that, that homeowners should at least look at it, you know, regardless of whatever experience they've had in the past with solar, solar people, um, myths, legends around solar and whether or not it makes sense, depending on who you're talking to. At the end of the day, I will share the numbers and be as transparent as I can um, throughout the whole process. So please reach out to me. Perfect. Thank you again, Janice, for coming on. Thank I'll have all me. of her contact information uh, with this video. So please make sure you reach out with all of your questions. Um, make sure you get all of your information you want for solar. She's great with education. I've sat down and talked to her many, many times. Business owners, if you want more information, especially realtors, especially with the way that people are moving in and out of this town, um, you guys definitely want to learn and understand the solar process as well. So get with Janice. Thank you again for coming on. Thanks so much, Lisa.